Hey guys, this is Skorinder here from Androidify and welcome to Android App Development for Beginners number 4. In this video, we're going to talk about positioning views using weight, gravity, padding, and margin. Linear Layout Weight Linear layout supports an attribute called layout weight. After all the views on the screen occupy the required space, layout weight distributes the leftover space among those views. The views can either take up equal amount of unused space or some views can take up more free space than others. The default weight value is zero. Here, the first two views get a value of one and the third one gets a value of zero. And so the first two views will divide the empty screen equally among themselves. The view with no weight will only occupy the space that it requires. Here, the three text views have the weight value of 1, and so each text view occupies equal amount of free space or one third of the screen per view. Here, the first text view gets the weight value of 2, and the other two views get the value of 1. The first text view occupies twice the space as the other two views. First text view gets 50% of the screen, while the other two views get 25% of free space each. The XML attribute for weight is Android colon layout weight equals some integer value. In this example, it's 1. Linear layout gravity. Just like in relative layout where you can position views at different locations on the screen, linear layout gravity allows you to do somewhat of the same thing. Note that if the width and the height of a view is set to wrap content, then the position of the content in a view will not change. The same principle applies to a linear layout. If the width and the height of the linear layout is set to wrap content, then the position of the views will not change. The XML attributes are Android colon layout gravity as well as Android colon gravity. Layout gravity positions the view itself at different locations on the screen, while Android gravity positions the content of the view at different locations inside a view. Here are a couple of values for both layout gravity and gravity. Center, bottom, center horizontal, center vertical, right, and left. If the orientation of the linear layout is set to horizontal, then layout gravity center horizontal will not work. Now if the orientation is set to vertical, then layout gravity center vertical will not work. Because linear layout can only place its views below each other or next to each other. It cannot overlap the views on top of each other. So here, if you assign the layout gravity for I like avocados text to be center vertical, then this text view cannot skip these two rows. Padding and margin. Padding essentially adds space inside the view while margin adds space outside or around the view. Why would you want to do it? Well, so the views are not crammed against each other at the corner of the screen. Padding and or margin give the views a little room to breathe. It also makes the layout of the screen more visually appealing to users. Uh, here as you can see on the left side all the views are crammed up at the top left hand corner of the screen and there isn't any space in between these text views. But here on the right side you have a little bit of margin to the left as well as uh, a little bit of margin to the top and there's some margin in between the text views. Here as you can see that there's layout margin margin for the first text view so it creates some space outside the view on all four sides because Android layout margin creates space on all four sides of a view. And the second text view where it says I like mangoes you only have 50 dips of margin right and so it creates a buffer zone on the right side of this view. And finally the last text view where you have 33 dips of margin left and it creates a buffer zone on the left side of the view. You need a view group for margin because padding gets handled by the view itself, whereas in the margin, a view group pushes the view away from it. Also, if the background color of children views is the same as the parent view, then the effect achieved by padding and or margin will be the same. Here, as you can see, that background color of these three text views as well as of the linear layout is the same. On the first text view, use margin top, left, and bottom. On the second text view, use padding. And on the third text view, use padding as well. But the effect achieved by them is the same. 
Here are a couple of padding attributes. Android colon padding equals some integer value. Well, it's going to create padding on all four sides inside the view. So it's going to push the content in a view away from its boundaries, away from all four sides. Android padding left is going to push away the content inside a view away from the left hand side. Android padding right is going to push the content inside a view away from the right boundary of the view. Android padding top is going to push the content inside a view away from the top and Android padding bottom is going to push the content away from the bottom boundary of a view. Margin attributes layout margin bottom is going to create some space outside the view on the bottom. Android layout margin left is going to create some space on the left hand side outside the view. Layout margin right is going to create some space outside the view on the right hand side. Android layout margin top is going to create some space outside the view on the top. Now let's jump over to Android Studio and apply what we just learned. So we're going to start off with a linear layout and three text views. We have a vertical linear layout with three text views which says I like mangoes, I like apples, and I like avocados. Now they have the layout width of match parent and the layout height of wrap content. And they have the text size of 33 scale independent pixels. So we're going to add margin to the linear layout of 10 dips. And I'm going to change the background color of these three text views to yellow, red, and green. To get the background color, just go to materialpalette.com and select two colors. I'm going to select yellow and red. So just double click on it and it should copy it and then go back to, and it should change the background color. I'm going to copy the red one. So I've changed the background color of these three text views and now let's just assign a weight value to these. I'm going to set the weight value for the first text view to be 1, second text view to be 1 as well, and then the third text view to be 1 as well. So they're occupying one third of the entire screen. And now let's just see what happens if I assign the weight value of 2 to mangoes. So as you can see that uh, it's taking up twice the amount of space, uh, about 50% of the entire screen space, while the other two text views are only taking up 25% each. Now what if I change this value to 3? So it's going to take up more space, 4, 5, 6, and 99. So let's just assign an equal weight value to these. And now let's just add some margin in between the text views. So I'm going to go to the first text view and assign margin bottom to be 10 dips as well. And then I'm going to go to the last text view and assign margin top of 10 dips. Now if you assign layout margin bottom uh, for the second text view to be 10 dips and layout margin top for the third text view to be 10 dips then there's going to be 20 dips of space in between these two text views. So let's try that. Say layout margin bottom equals 10 dips. Now as you can see that there's 20 dips of space in between these two text views which we don't want. So I'm just going to delete that and leave it at 10 dips. And now I'm going to get rid of the background color of all of these text views. And now I'm going to show you that we can use either padding or margin to create space between the side of this screen and the text views. So I'm going to use layout margin left for the linear layout so it only creates 
uh, space uh, in between the text views and the left side of the screen. Now I'm going to add padding top to the first text view so it achieves the same effect as uh, layout margin top on the linear layout. Let's just change the position of these three texts within their views. So I'm going to set gravity for the first text view to be center. So as you can see that the text is aligned at the center both vertically and horizontally and it looks like it's not really centered uh, vertically because there's padding top here. So if I just get rid of this padding then it should center it out. Let's add gravity to the second text view and I'm going to set the value to be bottom. And now what you can do here if you want to make the text be aligned to the bottom of the view as well as in the center horizontally. So you can say center horizontal. If we have this bar in between the two values, instead of having two attributes for gravity, you can have a vertical bar in between the two values. And for the third text view, I'm gonna make its gravity to be at the bottom right hand corner. So I'm gonna set the gravity of the third text view to be end, so it's at the top right hand corner. Let's see, bottom. Now if I set the width for all three text views to be wrap content, I can use Android layout gravity and I'm going to set the Android layout gravity to be end for the first text view so it's aligned to the top right hand corner. Now if I assign the layout gravity for the second text view to be center. So it's uh, centered both vertically and horizontally. And for the last text view, I'm gonna set the layout gravity to be start or end for that matter. So it's at the bottom right hand corner. That's it for today, folks. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below and be sure to follow the Rin article over at androidify.com. Also, make sure to follow me on social media linked down in the description and please subscribe to my channel for more content. Last but not the least, I'm Grinder Singh from Androidify and I'm committed to helping you guys along the way.